Welcome to today's on-demand webinar on the use of Aquasorb A500 cellulose gum in baked goods. Our presentation begins with an overview of Ashland, as over the years the company has changed significantly with the sale of the Ashland distribution business and the acquisition of International Specialty Products, or ISP. Next, we will make a brief overview of the current Ashland Specialty Ingredients portfolio of food ingredients. Finally, we will focus on Aquasorb A500 cellulose gum, which is uniquely formulated for superior water retention in baked goods. We will use three example baked goods to show you the ways in which Aquasorb A500 cellulose gum can improve your results. Today, all of our Ashland businesses hold leadership positions within the markets they serve. Ashland is currently made up of four strategic businesses. We have three specialty chemical businesses. Specialty Ingredients, the number one global producer of cellulose ethers and a global leader in vinyl pyrilidones. Water Technologies, the number one global producer of specialty paper making chemicals. And Performance Materials, the number one global leader in unsaturated polyester and vinyl ester resins. We complement these specialty chemical businesses with the high margin consumer market, or Valvoline business, which holds the number three spot in passenger car motor oil and the number two franchised quick lube chain spot in the United States. Our regulated businesses, including food and beverage, now fall under Ashland Specialty Ingredients. The combination of Ashland Aqualon Functional Ingredients with ISP strengthens our position in food and beverage applications, as well as in pharmaceutical excipients and personal care. The addition of ISP significantly expands our R&D footprint. It quadruples our patent portfolio, triples our team of research and development scientists, and expands our ability to deliver industry-leading innovations and solutions. Ashland is a world leader in cellulosic food ingredients. Our premium additives and stabilizers enable healthier, tastier, and more convenient foods. Our solutions provide an array of functional properties, including thickening and rheology control, stabilization, water binding, foam promotion, thermal gelation, structure enhancement, and improved mouthfeel. Since the 1950s, our ingredients and expertise have enabled formulators to break new ground in food and beverage performance in a wide variety of applications using our broad portfolio of products, including AeroWhip and Clucel hydroxypropyl cellulose, Benacel methylcellulose and hydroxypropyl methylcellulose, Aqualon, Blenose, Bondwell, Aquasorb, and Aquacel cellulose gum, and Supercol Gore gum. AeroWhip and Clucel hydroxypropyl cellulose are very unique hydrocolloid products that have exceptional ability to promote and stabilize foam particularly in dairy and non-dairy whipped toppings. In addition, Clusel hydroxypropyl cellulose is a terrific film former and is used in specialty candy coatings. Benacel methyl cellulose and hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose offer unique properties including thermal gelling and binding. Thermal gelling is useful in meat alternatives such as veggie burgers, in meats such as sausages, and in gluten-free baking. Thermal gelling is the primary driver in why Benacel methyl cellulose reduces oil pickup in batters and coatings, as well as in other fried foods. Benacel methyl cellulose is used to stabilize fillings, such as in filled baked desserts and savory applications. Thermal gelling also thickens and provides texture in sauces. Aquacel, Aqualon, Aquasorb, Bonwell, and Blanose are cellulose gum products. Ashland cellulose gums are very versatile and come in many grades, viscosity levels, and particle sizes, as well as in specialty grades. Examples of cellulose gum applications are enhanced texture and mouthfeel in beverages, improved protein stabilization in low pH or fruit-flavored dairy beverages, and longer shelf life via water control and water retention in bakery applications and desserts. Supercol Guar Gum is processed for high purity, low odor, and low flavor. Guar Gum is a natural hydrocolloid that is broadly used and has very efficient thickening and stabilizing properties. It can be found in many stabilizer blends, including those used in ice cream and dairy desserts. Now we will look at how cellulose gum functions in baked goods, focusing on Aquasorb A500 cellulose gum. Ashland is a supplier of premium, high-purity, high-quality cellulose gums. 
Cellulose gum is an excellent choice for formulators' needs in that it hydrates rapidly for quick viscosity, grades are available with high water binding properties, and cellulose gum is effective at low concentrations. Another benefit that sets cellulose gum apart from other hydrocolloids is the fact that it is available in a wide range of viscosity grades for desired thicknesses, and most of those grades are also available in different particle sizes for improved handling. Cellulose gum ingredients are widely used in bakery applications to control water and improve the quality of baked goods. When comparing products with and without cellulose gum, some of the benefits seen are longer shelf life, extended softness, increased yield, reduced drying and cracking, greater volume, and improved appearance. Among our many cellulose gum products, Ashland offers Aquasorb A500 cellulose gum, which is unique in its strong capacity to bind and hold water. This cellulose gum is in fact quality tested for water absorption as part of routine quality control. Because of this unique feature, Aquasorb cellulose gum is used extensively in bakery applications for its ability to bind water as well as to control the consistency of batters and doughs. Customers will benefit from the high water binding ability of Aquasorb A500 cellulose gum. Up to 50% more water may be absorbed compared with other high viscosity grades of cellulose gum. This cellulose gum is also very effective at low concentrations. To demonstrate the effect of Aquasorb A500 cellulose gum on the structure of baked goods, a sponge cake or Swiss roll formulation was prepared. Two recipes containing different amounts of cellulose gum were evaluated against the control recipe without cellulose gum. The basic formulation for either a sponge cake or a Swiss roll is the same. The differences between the two are in the baking time, oven temperature, and the shape of the pan. The control formulation does not have any Aquasorb A500 cellulose gum. The other two contain Aquasorb A500 cellulose gum at increasing levels, 0.7 and 1.3 flour percent, respectively. This percentage, commonly used by bakers, is calculated by taking the weight of flour in the recipe as 100% and figuring the other percentages in proportion to flour based on the weight of the ingredients. The increasing amounts of Aquasorb A500 cellulose gum changes the amount of water that can be used in the formulation, as cellulose gum has the capacity to absorb water. The control formula has 51.3% water, but the recipes with cellulose gum have 74.4% and 89.7% water. Each recipe was evaluated for softness of the finished product at 3, 10, 17, and 30 days. The softness was judged by the kilograms of force needed to compress the cakes by 20 millimeters using a texture analyzer. Both of the recipes with Aquasorb A500 cellulose gum were softer than the control, but the results might seem surprising because the higher amount of cellulose gum did not produce the softest cake. The addition of higher amounts of Aquasorb A500 cellulose gum produces a denser cake with less volume and air in the finished product. This is why the cake with 1.3% cellulose gum displays less softness over time than the one with 0.7% cellulose gum. A visual comparison of Swiss rolls made with each recipe shows some significant differences, particularly in workability and in the appearance of the crust. The first cake without Aquasorb A500 cellulose gum has cracked. This cake would be difficult to fill or frost. The second cake, with 0.7% cellulose gum, you can see has a higher volume and more air, making it better for a sponge cake. The third cake, with 1.3% Aquasorb A500 cellulose gum, produces a dense, tight roll, which is ideal. The visual differences between the cakes are represented graphically in the compression data from the previous slide. The Swiss roll example shows how A500 cellulose gum increases the amount of water that can be added and improves the quality of the overall product. Both formulations show a final product with reduced cracking, making it easier for rolling and frosting. The difference is that at the 0.7% level, the recipe produces a sponge cake with greater volume and more air in the finished product, where at the 1.3% level, a denser cake is formed creating a more substantial structure for rolling. Now we'll look at a yellow cake recipe. 
At Ashland, we have extensively studied how cellulose gum allows for increased water to improve yield and recipes for bakery products such as cakes. Cellulose gum has been used in cake mixes for many years. The cellulose gum makes the cake batter more viscous, which helps in suspending the ingredients evenly and also helps retain the leavening so that gases are not lost from the batter. The more viscous batter is also more tolerant to mixing so that overmixing is less likely. In this example, the yellow cake mix used in our work is shown. Yellow cake is a soft, butter-flavored, high-ratio cake that includes whole egg, thus the name yellow cake. This example produces a dry cake mix. A master batch of this cake mix was made for consistency of results so that there was no variation in flour or other ingredients in the finished cakes. In this slide, we can see results for the tests on yellow cake mixes. For each test, water and a whole egg was added to 270 grams of dry cake mix from the master batch. The water amount varied. Either a standard amount of 110 grams was added or an increased amount of 170 grams. The first test was the high yield formulation containing Oxisorb A500 cellulose gum and the higher dose of water at 170 grams. As you can see in the top set of the photos, the resulting cake has an even crumb structure, increased volume, and a uniformly domed crust. The control, seen in the middle set of photos, has not baked out properly, even though this is a standard cake mix recipe. This is often seen in cakes with too much uncontrolled moisture. The final set of photos simply shows what happens when the higher dose of water is added to the cake mix with no cellulose gum. The cake has insufficient structure, has not baked out properly, and has collapsed. This example is shown to compare with the first set of photos, where the only difference is the presence of Aquasorb A500 cellulose gum in the cake. This yellow cake example shows that Aquasorb A500 cellulose gum can bind high amounts of water, allowing up to 50% more water to be added to the batter. In addition, more moisture is retained in the baked cake so that it appears fresher longer. The crumbs are more uniform and there are fewer big air pockets and fewer big blisters on the crust of the cake, so it looks more pleasing and is easier to decorate with frosting. A final example is that of a cupcake. The cupcake mix formulations used in our work are shown here. A reference formulation with no cellulose gum and no added water was evaluated against the formulation with 0.5% Aquasorb A500 cellulose gum and 15% water. In cupcakes, the addition of Aquasorb A500 cellulose gum produces many of the same benefits described in the previous two examples. Aquasorb A500 cellulose gum not only extends the batter by increasing water addition, but also improves the structure and appearance of the finished product. In this visual comparison of the products with and without cellulose gum, the benefits of the water binding capacity of Aquasorb A500 cellulose gum can be clearly seen. The cupcake with Aquasorb A500 cellulose gum is higher in volume with an attractive dome. Increased moisture content in the batter means that the surface of the cupcake does not dry out as quickly in the baking process, allowing the formation of an attractive dome. This cupcake example shows that the addition of Aquasorb A500 cellulose gum allows water to be added to the batter and increases batter yield for cost savings. At the same time, the visual comparison shows overall improved appearance and greater volume, including an attractive dome related to the surface of the cupcake not drying out too quickly. In summary, the exceptional water binding property of Aquasorb A500 cellulose gum not only improves the bakery product's appearance as seen in all three examples, but improves the overall quality of the finished product. This yellow cake and cupcake example shows that Aquasorb A500 cellulose gum can bind high amounts of water, allowing up to 50% more water to be added to the batter, improving yield. In addition, more moisture in the finished product means the longer its shelf life. The Swiss roll example shows how by varying the amounts of cellulose gum extends the overall product softness, reduces drying and cracking, and changes the density of the finished cake. And finally, the cupcake example effectively illustrates the greater volume that Aquasorb A500 cellulose gum can achieve. Improved appearance, increased yield, longer shelf life, extended softness, 
reduced drying and cracking, and greater volume are all key benefits that Aquasorb A500 Cellulose Gum can deliver in your final bakery product. Ashland Specialty Ingredients is a world leader in cellulosic food ingredients. Our products meet our food formulation customers' health, convenience, quality, and processing needs in major food applications. We create value through applications knowledge, market insight, and a powerful product portfolio, including AeroWhip and Clucel hydroxypropyl cellulose, Benacel methyl cellulose and hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose, Aqualon, Blanos, Bondwell, Aquasorb, and Aquacel cellulose gum, and Supercol guar gum. To learn more about Ashland's food products, please visit our website at ashland.com or contact us by phone at one 877 Five four six two seven eight two. Thank you.